Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate whether we can actually install the Vivo Dialer in this iQOO 9 SE device or not. As you can see from this exact comment which I got from a few of my subscribers asking me to demonstrate, you can clearly see, can we install the Vivo Dialer in the iQOO 9 SE device or not? So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. Right now, I do have the iQOO 7 device which has got the Vivo Dialer in this phone. The main reason why few of the users are actually looking to install this Vivo Dialer in this device is because of the call record. In the Vivo dialer, there is no call announcement when you're trying to record. But right now in the iQOO 9 SE, unfortunately, there is a Google dialer built in. That's a problem. Right now, I'll try to show you friends exactly by using this uh, APK, which I did install uh, from the iQOO 7 device. This exact APK, as you can clearly see, the same APK which I thought of trying out. And let me to do the exact installation process in front of the camera. And let's see whether it's going to work out or not right now installation process. I just want to clarify even my doubt as well. Right now the application has been installed successfully and now let me to open it. Right now as you can see when the application did install successfully and now let me to uh, quickly dial some number. Let's turn on the internet data, I mean mobile data. So mobile is on SIM card. Right now let's try to dial some random number. Right now it's kind of redirecting to the Google, Google dial. This is a Vivo dial as you can clearly see. Let me to dial again. One two three, and it's taking to the Google dialer. You can clearly see, friends, what's happening here exactly. So definitely, it's taking to the Google dialer. So I did install this Vivo dialer, exact as you can clearly see, friends. So let me to select the default of this application as a Google. Let me try to select that. Open by default. Right now I'm trying to select the default phone application as the Vivo application. As you can clearly see friends, Vivo application I did try to select right now. And let's go back to the menu and let's open the phone menu here. Let's dial the number. Let's see what's happening here. So again, it's kind of redirecting to the Google dialer itself. You can clearly see friends, we are not getting that kind of iQOO type of dialer. We are not getting because in the iQOO sound device, it did, did get different kind of iQOO dialer. So we were kind of uh, screen, but we are not getting. Unfortunately, it's kind of redirecting again to the Google dialer itself. And by using this method, we'll be getting the call announcement. Let me do, uh, do the normal call and just see. Right now, I'll try to show you the demo as well. Calling my number. Right now, I did call my number as well. And you should be able to see the call recording. As you can see, friends, definitely you're getting the announcement as well using this kind of method. So this is friends. Thank you for watching. This is a quick demonstration. You will be able to install the Vivo, I mean, uh, dialer, Vivo dialer or iQOO dialer. You will be able to install, but call recording, you're not getting that kind of functionality because it's kind of redirecting to the Google type of interface. I cannot uninstall this application as well. There is no option to uninstall. Let me go to the app info. There is no option to uninstall. Nothing at all. So disable app. So if I need to disable that application, this is what we are getting. As you can see, dial number not sent. If I try to disable completely application, That's something you should know, friends. So this is friends. Thank you for watching and straight up more updates. And overall, it's not working even after installing the Google dialer as well. As you can, I mean, Vivo dialer. Meanwhile, signing off until and straight up more updates and bye.